The opinions expressed in the following program are not necessarily those of Eastlink TV, its sponsors, or partners. So welcome to Cool Science here at Science North. Today we're going to be talking all about monarch butterflies. So here in our northern garden we have lots of, of milkweed plants and these plants are home to many newly emerging monarch caterpillars. Now female monarchs they only lay their eggs on milkweed plant and this is because it not only provides a food source for the caterpillars but it also is what makes them toxic. Now milkweed is poisonous to most animals and the bright coloration of the caterpillars both in their caterpillar form and in their adult form is warns predators of this toxicity. As a special attraction we have brought in some of the milkweed plant with eggs on it inside and created a natural habitat for them. Now we did this so that visitors will get the chance to see the life processes of the monarch butterfly up close and in real time. Now we've also been able to capture some of these processes on camera, which you will see in the following clips. A monarch egg is the size of a pinhead, and the caterpillar that emerges from it is not much larger than that. Once they've hatched, they will often consume their egg case. At this stage, they are ferocious eaters, doing nothing else but eating and growing until they are 3,000 times their original size. After two weeks, the caterpillars are fully grown and ready to pupate. The monarch caterpillar goes through five instars, or stages between molts. Now this takes between 10 and 14 days, after which the monarch caterpillar will then pupate. When ready, the caterpillar will hang themselves upside down in a J shape uh, from a twig or a branch. Next, they will make a silk pad, then attach their cremaster to it. A cremaster is a hook-covered appendage that it wiggles around to insert it deep into the silk pad. Finally, they shed their skin and the chrysalis will appear underneath. Over the next 10 to 14 days, the caterpillar will then metamorphosize into the adult butterfly. Once the newly formed butterfly emerges from its chrysalis, it will begin pumping fluids from its abdomen into the veins of its wings, which causes them to expand. Next, they must allow their wings to dry and exercise their flight muscles before they can take flight. After the monarch butterfly has emerged and its rings have dried and it is ready to fly, we are going to tag these monarchs and release them back outside. Now tagging is really important for scientists because it allows them to follow the animal in their natural setting. Now this is especially important for the monarch butterfly to gain, an, to gain information about their population numbers and also their overwintering sites in Mexico.